And um, I was wondering if you could tell me, first of all, a little bit about your startup. Yeah, I would love to tell you about my startup. Uh, the, my startup, first of all, it's real technology and real innovation. It's not just another uh, smartphone app or just a social network or a picture sharing. It's uh, pure technology. Uh, right. what, what we do is a search engine for uh, science and math. So uh, what it means really is not only we search on uh, scientific content, but we allow the users to enter scientific symbols and notations. Uh, for instance, uh, something that should be trivial, how do you search for an integral today? Uh, there is no... I'm sorry, there is some noise on the line. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, things that should be very simple, uh, the way we write equations, we should be able also to search on equations or uh, any um, symbol. And uh, you can today, so that's what we do. On the other but, hand, what's more important is that we understand the context of the equations and the theory behind them. Fabulous. So, yeah, so we give uh, great results and a great experience. Fabulous. And uh, um, have you received funding for your startup to date in Israel? Yes. Uh, we managed to raise a, a capital of $500,000 uh, as seed money. Great. And tell me what the what it's like in Israel as re regards raising funding at the moment. I know that um, I have read a bit that it's a bit tough um, at the moment. So maybe you could give us a realistic yeah. picture on that. Yes, it's very, very tough. Uh, the startup space is very crowded. <laughs> there is a lot of innovation in Israel. And yes, I've heard. Yeah, the, there is... A, some great stuff is going on here, uh, but that doesn't really help with the uh, funding. It's very hard to raise, and the VCs are not taking the risk that they maybe should be taking. Uh, they're, right. playing, they're playing very safe, so seed money is just impossible to get out of VCs, and the only option is angel money. Uh, the nice thing about that is that a lot of people are very open to startups and they're looking to invest in startups. Again, there are not a lot of money, they're very careful. Uh, we had a very thorough and long due diligence before we got the money, uh, but it's possible. And so you got it from angels. And um, can you tell me in Israel, are the venture capitalists? Are they former entrepreneurs or have they come out of the financial industry? I know in Europe a lot of them came out of the financial industry and so are much more conservative. Yes, yes, financial it, it, industry. Okay, okay. And um, so that that's just to have a little plug here. We're running a uh, program called the Smart Money Program here in Silicon Valley in November and encouraging foreign investors to come and learn from uh, professional and experienced investors here. So, you know, my my plan is world domination and have um, more venture capitalists and more startups being funded because of uh, better education and better networks for the investors. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and so tell me, uh, as regards women in Israel, how do you have like a large percentage of female entrepreneurs and... and how is that as regards getting funded? Is there any uh, gender bias that you've noticed in Israel? Uh, there, there are not that many uh, female entrepreneurs in Israel. Uh, okay. I think it's, it's a worldwide problem, but in, in Israel yep. it gets more apparent. Uh, there are entrepreneurs, but uh, most of the type of the work that they're doing is more like... Um, female-oriented uh, startup, so to speak. Uh, like if it's, uh, it relates to children or, uh, or fashion or makeup or stuff like that. 
There isn't a lot of uh, women uh, entrepreneurs working with technology. Okay. Uh, and again, I, I know it's the same in the States, but uh, here the percentage are against us. Okay. And uh, the, it's also harder because uh, the networking in Israel is very, is very strong. It's all based on networking and personal uh, relations. Okay. Uh, more than anywhere else. And uh, one, one of the reasons is the army. That uh, most of the guys are building their network already in the army. And it's a very, very strong and tight network. Uh -huh. So there are very good things that come out of it, like all the startups that come out of it, all the innovation and the technology and the reason why we, we succeed so well. Yes. But on the other hand, it's a very uh, men-dominated area. Okay. And it's very, very hard to, to get in. So would you, um, do you think that there's many female, female venture capitalists in Israel that you know of? Uh, there aren't that many. Okay, okay, yeah. They say that uh, the more female uh, ventures, venture capitalists there are, the more women get funded, um, not because they favourite us, but because they understand a lot of uh, the startups that, and ideas that we have. Yeah. Look, it's really been fabulous talking to you. Thank you so much for your time today and I uh, wish you all the best with the startup. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.